Hi everyone, my name is Mariana from Kind Living Yoga and welcome to our 75 minutes power flow. The only thing you need today is a block. If you don't have a block, grab the book and remember to modify when you need. Enjoy the flow guys. Starting in a comfortable seated position, hands on the knees, palm of the hands facing up and close your eyes for a moment. If for some reason you feel that your hips are a bit uncomfortable here, feel free to pad your bum with the block. And allow the shoulders to drop heavy, close your eyes. Just really focus on your breath for now. Inhale deeply through the nose, stretching the lungs down towards the belly, out of the belly. When you exhale, exhale through the mouth. So when we exhale, we want to recreate a strong HA sound. Inhale deeply through the nose. And stronger HA sound. <sighs> One more. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> and now recreate the same sound, but with your mouth sealed through the nose, coming into UJ breath. You should feel like you are recreating ocean wave sound when you breathe in and out. Now allow your UJ breath, the ocean wave breathing, to cleanse and open your body, your chest, your stomach, your back. Raising toxins, raising an energetical blockage. One last breath. Exhale, start to draw the navel in towards the spine, creating that connection with Udi and Abanda, our core. And then we start the practice, inhale, arms up, lengthen the spine up towards the sky. When you exhale, your left hand comes down, right arm above, feel the extension into the side of the body. Good. Now the rib cage, the right side of the rib cage is opening with your inhalation. When you exhale, ground through the hips and lengthen the spine to the side more. Extend all the way to the fingertips, the shoulders. Nice, one last breath. Exhale, stay where you are, that top arm, that right arm goes all the way out, drop the shoulders down, spread the fingers, thumb points down and wrap your arm behind your back, taking hold of the waistband of your leggings or short or t-shirt and let go of the head completely. Keep your eyes closed, maybe your chin comes in ever so slightly and drag your right shoulder down away from the ear. So we're using your breath to open up the right side of the neck. Especially in the morning, it's so important we do this work. Breathing in through the nose. Exhale, let the head drop heavier. Drop the shoulders down. Feel that bit of pulling sensation from the right shoulder all the way to the back of the right ear. So if you feel that pulling sensation, you're doing it right. If you don't feel it, try to relax your head more. One last breath. And then when you exhale slowly, the left, the left hand holds the left side of the face and then help your head come up slowly so that you don't strain the neck again. And again, inhale, arms up and over the head. When you exhale, your right hand comes down, left arm above. Feel again the extension to the left side of the rib cage. It's your inhalation, your deep breath that expands the ribs, the chest. Beautiful, one last breath. Exhale, stay where you are, the top arm, the left arm goes out to the side, spread the fingers, thumb points down, and drop your arm behind your back, taking hold of the waistband of your leggings, t-shirt, or shorts, and let go of the head completely. So remember, dragging the left shoulder down away from the ear should increase the sensation of pulling in the side of the neck, the scalings muscles.
With each exhalation, chin maybe comes in and you can let go of the head even more. Around our neck area, we're not all holding on to uh, only physical tension, but there is a lot of acupressure points here that connects to the emotional part of the brain. So releasing stress, worries, tension, Beautiful, one last breath. When you exhale, let the head drop even heavier, stay where you are. And then the right hand supports the right side of the face and help your head come up. Nice. Move your neck side to side. Notice any differences from when we started already. And then both arms go up, inhale, spread the fingers. When you exhale, pull the elbows back, open the chest and look up, drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale, look down, lengthen the arms up. Exhale, look up, open the chest, drop the shoulders down. One more, inhale. Exhale, look up, open the chest, drop the shoulders down, interlace the fingertips behind your back and extend your arms towards the back of the room. Keep extending the arms, your arms here are very active. At the same time, puff your chest forward and up. If you feel like you've got a really nice deep stretch in the chest here, then stay here. Otherwise, chin to chest and see if you can start to fall down. So the arms are gonna go, are gonna go up and over the head, increasing the opening in the shoulder joints. Breathe, everyone. Keep the UJ breath active. One last breath. And when you exhale, pull the belly in, so you roll the spine up. And then give a little shake to the shoulders, the arms. Nice, coming into all fours. So hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips, spread the fingers. Perfect. When you inhale, bring the belly down, open the chest, chin up, stretch the front of the body. When you exhale, press the floor away, tuck your tailbone on the chin and look at your belly button. Feel your chest. Shine through the shoulders. And again, inhale, belly down, open the chest, chin up. Exhale, press the floor away, draw the belly in, chin to chest. One more, inhale. Exhale, press the floor away, draw the belly in, chin to chest. And then back to neutral spine. Do any movement that feels good. If you want to move your hips, the spine, do some yes and no with your head. Anything that feels right. And before we go ahead, I really want you to open up into the shoulders today. So keep your knees in line with the hips and extend the arms out, opening into your poppy pose, bringing the shoulders down towards the floor. Maybe your chin rests on the floor, maybe your forehead. Or if this pose is too much, remember to bend the arms. And again, focus on the breath. With each exhalation, maybe your armpits can reach a little bit closer to the floor. Inhaling three. Exhaling three. Allow the chest to fall heavy. Inhaling two. Exhaling two. One last breath. Exhale, pull the navel in, start to walk your hands towards you, back to all fours. And then we start to warm up the core, so lower the elbows down, so left elbow on the left shoulder, spread the fingers, right elbow on the right shoulder. Everyone, hook your fingertips into the floor, so really feel the arms active. Press the forearms down, drop the shoulders down away from the ears, and then when you're ready, extend the legs back, forearm plank. If you need to modify, you can do the same, but with your knees down. So feel free to go ahead, lower the knees if you need to modify. Otherwise, lengthen the back of the neck, pull the belly in, keep your hips square. Now remember your bandas, your point of lock. Let's stay here and see what happens. So first of all, your mula banda. So squeeze the bum cheeks, squeeze the pelvic floor muscle in towards the belly. Then Udiyana banda, draw the navel in and up towards the rib cage. Udi and um, Jaladar Bandha, chin spreading in, lengthen the back of the neck. 
to really feel the long line. And then maybe your body starts to shake. Keep your breath. Hold it. Three. Hold it. Two. And then the right forearm comes across your chest. Left arm up, side plank. Lift the waistline up. If you need to relax your neck and look down, you can do that too. Otherwise, lift the waistline up. Top arm extends over the head. Option one, stay here and hold. Option two, to the top leg up. Take a deep breath. When you exhale, right elbow reaches for the right knee and hold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, squeeze the elbow to knee. Lift the waistline up. Nice. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Last two. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Last one. Exhale, squeeze. Hold it. Squeeze. Lift the waist. And then back to center, other side. Left forearm across, right arm up. Take a deep breath. Option to just hold it here. Extend the top arm over the head. Option two, lift the top leg up. Take a deep breath. When you exhale, elbow to knee. Shh. Inhale to extend. Exhale, bring it in. Shh. Inhale to extend. Exhale, bring it in. You got two more. Exhaling in. Last one. Exhaling in, hold it. And then back to your forearm plank. Stay into forearm, lower the knees if you need to modify. Puff the chest through the shoulders, pull the belly and hold it. Inhaling three. Exhaling three. Inhaling two. Exhaling two. One last breath. Exhale, lower the knees, push the hips back. Child pose, rest your forehead on the floor. Oh, hopefully your body feels more energized already. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Slowly come back into all fours. Spread the fingers, tuck your toes, lift your hips up into downward dog and relax the back of the head. Walk your heels down one by one, lengthen the calves, the hamstrings. So do some yesing over your head. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. And then slowly start to walk your feet towards your hands. Feet below the hips. Soften the knees, relax your body down. Make sure your block is right there in front of you because we need it there for when we need to reach for it, yeah? So relax your arms, pull the belly in, relax the head. Then you have each elbow, swing your body side to side. And then release the arms. Bring your heels to touch, big toes to touch. Squeeze the inner thighs together, soften the knees. Inhale, roll the spine up. Coming into Tadasana. Mountain pose. Palm of the hands facing forward, close your eyes. Feel your pandas active, your energy locks. With your eyes closed, focus on the space in between your eyebrows, your third eye center. And give yourself this time to visualize your bhakti. Why did you decide to take this yoga practice today? Find your intentions, your meanings, and then bring the hands to the heart center. We start our practice with a big sigh out. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Enjoy the practice. Inhale, sit back into chair. Lengthen through the arms. When you exhale, surrender down to earth and soften the knees. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway up. When you exhale, you can step or float back to plank. Deep breath. Exhale, knees, chest and chin or Chaturanga Dandasana. You choose, squeeze the elbows in. Inhale, point your feet, thighs up, open your heart, shoulders back. Exhale, hips up, downward facing dog, relax the back of the head. Deep breath, in through the nose. Sigh out. And again, lift the heels, bend your legs, step or foot forward, back to lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Uttanasana, chair pose. Exhale, Uttanasana, foot forward, fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. Exhale, step or float back, Chaturanga, high to low plank. 
Inhale, up dog, pull your feet, squeeze the bum. Exhale, downward facing dog. Relax the back of the head. Deep breath. Sigh out. Lift the heels, bend your legs, step your foot forward, back for lift. Exhale, fall down. Inhale, Uttanasana, chair, sit back. Exhale, Uttanasana, surrender. Inhale, look up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step or float back, Chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, through the mouth. Lift the heels, bend your legs, step or float forward, that's for lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit back, Uttanasana, reaching up. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward, fold. Lengthen the spine up, up, halfway. Exhale, step or float back, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. Remember the thing? Remember the quality of the movement today. Really try to engage the whole body when you move, keeping your bugness active the whole time. Maybe close your eyes and practice Pratyahara for the next Surya Namaskar. Maybe you can see what happens if you do this with your eyes closed. Really focus what's happening within. One more breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Lift the heels. Bend your legs, step or foot forward, up left. Exhale, fall down. Inhale, Uttanasana, chair. Exhale, Uttanasana, surrender. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or flow back, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down with facing dog. Beautiful, deep breath. Side out. Lift the heels. Bend your legs, step or flow to the top of the mat, tall for lift. Exhale, fold. Now, listen up. See if what happens if you bring the block in with your inner thighs. Squeeze the block as much as you can. Sit back. Come into Ukadasana share. Drag the shoulders down, pull the belly in. Now squeeze that block as much as you can. Refilling your mula bandha active. Inhaling three. Exhaling three. Transfer the body weight towards the back of your feet. Inhaling two. Exhaling two. One last breath. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine up for it. Exhale, with the block, you can take tiny jumps or jump back, Chaturanga, squeeze. If this too much, take the block away. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Side out. <sighs> lift the heels, bend your legs again, little jumps or big jump. Half we lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Uttanasana, chair, sit back, squeeze the block. Exhale, Uttanasana, all the way down. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step or float back, Chaturanga. Nice, inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. How can we build up more strength? <laughs> so we're gonna have a bit slower now. Spread the fingers, squeeze the block. Inhale, come to plank pose. When you exhale, squeeze the block slowly down for five, four, three, two. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Relax the back of the head. One more time. Inhale, plank. Exhale, slowly down for three, two. Inhale, up dog, squeeze the block. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath, sigh out. Now inhale, come to plank pose. When we exhale, we come halfway down. And then relax all the way to the floor. Squeeze the block. Point your feet, press the block and the, uh, press the feet into the, into the floor, even the bum, yes? Yeah? So the bum and the feet are pressing down. Squeeze the block, interlace the fingertips behind you. When you exhale, lift the chest up. Beautiful. Now squeeze the block, lift the legs up. Nice. Can we reach higher? Pull the belly in. One last breath. And then exhale, release. Push back to child pose. Whew. 
Look, keep the block quality, don't give up yet. And then up to down with dog. Nice, inhale, plank pose. Now when we exhale, bring the left elbow down, right elbow down, forearm plank. Take a deep breath. When you exhale, press the forearms into the ground, push the bum up, and walk your feet towards your upper body. Squeeze the blood, pull the belly in, relax the neck. So you're pressing the floor away from you, so that the head is away from the ground. And you're not collapsing in the shoulders, but you're pressing both forearms down and in towards each other. And then drag the shoulders down away from the ears. Stay here into dolphin. <laughs> Squeeze the block, breathe. Feel your body strengthening. The circulation of the blood waking up. You start to feel that fire. Breathe. One last breath. And when you exhale, lower the knees. Take the block away. And come to child pose. Nice. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Nice, come back into all fours. Tuck your toes hips up, down or dog. We move into our Surya Namaskar B. So lift the heels, bend your legs, step or foot forward, back foot in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Uttanasana, chest, sit back. Exhale, Uttanasana, all the way down. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway. Exhale, step or float back, chest ranga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward face the dog. Inhale, right foot forward, come up, warrior one. Ground through that back foot and lengthen the spine up. When you exhale, you want to bow down. Join Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward face the dog. Left foot forward, inhale, come up. Warrior one. Exhale, you are in Chaturanga. Bow down. Nice. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Relax the back of the head. The Surya Ramaskara are only one breath to build that the internal fire. You will be filled by now. But I want you to build up even more before we go ahead. So we're going to start to move on one breath. If this too much, skip the Chaturanga, the Vinyasa, but go straight into downward dog instead. Deep breath. Sigh out. Lift the heels, bend your legs, step or foot forward, down for lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Uttanasana, chair. Exhale, Uttanasana, surrender. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or float back, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot comes forward, warrior one. Exhale, you are in Chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, inhale, come up. Exhale, you are in Chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath. Sigh out, lift the heels, bend your legs, step up the forward, back for next. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Uttanasana, sit lower. Exhale, Uttanasana, surrender. Inhale, lengthen the spine up, way. Exhale, step up, flow back, Chakra Mirandasana. Inhale, Urdha Mukha Shanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shanasana, relax the back of the head. Deep breath, right foot forward, come up, warrior one. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, inhale, come up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Up dog, cobra, you breathe in. Breathe out. Downward facing dog. Relax the back of the head. Deep breath. Side out. Last one, lift the heels, bend your legs, step foot forward, that's for it. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look at asana, try to look up. Exhale, Uttanasana, all the way down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or float back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha, Shanasana. Inhale, right foot forward, come up. Warrior one. 
Exhale, Chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Left foot forward, inhale, come up. Exhale, Chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Deep breath. Side out. Oh. Relax the back of the head. Last breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Lift the heels. Bend your legs. You're going to step the foot to the top of the mat. Tap for it. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look at that snow chair. Exhale, Tadasana. Palm of the hands facing forward. Now, hands to the heart. Bring your feet to touch. Lift the heels of your feet up. Almost like if you were wearing some very high stilettos. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Pull the belly in. And then bend the legs, keeping the spine upright. We take our goddess descent. We bring the bum slowly down towards the heels of the feet. Beautiful, reach as deep as you can. Then your bum rests on the heels, feet together, knees apart, hands in front of you, hands the shoulder a little bit wider, spread the fingers. Bend the arms, the arms become like shelves, and you rest your knees on the upper arms. Maybe take one foot, maybe both feet off the ground, you choose. Keep your arms active. Deep breath. When you exhale, next you can step or jump back, Chaturanga. Nice, inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feet together. Pull the belly button in. When you inhale, right leg goes up as high as you can. When the right leg goes up, press the left heel down more. Squeeze the right glute to bring the right leg higher. When you exhale, right knee to the left shoulder and twist. You may have to look up now. So extend that right leg through the left shoulder. Rest your foot on the floor. Then your left, uh, your left heel rests on the ground. Left arm up. Yes, option one, you can stay here. Option two, you can lift the bottom foot off the ground to activate your obliques. Option three, the left hand takes hold of the outside of the right foot and then see if you can extend the leg. Side plank split. <laughs> Hold it three. Hold it two. And then back to three leg dog. Ready, both hands down, inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, bend the top leg, open the hip. Flex the foot, rotate the ankle, spread the toes. You can stay here, or see if you can flip back into wild thing, lifting the thumb up over the chest. Ah, nice everyone. Opening the heart, let go of the head. One last breath. Exhale, hands to the ground. Inhale, right leg goes up even higher than before. Exhale, knee to nose. Pull the navel in. When you're ready, step your foot in between your hands. Come up into warrior one. Arms up. When you exhale, open warrior two transition. Try to show this down, pull the belly in. So squeeze the bum forward, your arms are strong here. Bend the front leg a little deeper. Then lift the front heel up. Flip the front palm up, inhale forward, exhale reverse warrior. Wrap your left arm behind your back, reaching for the inside of the right inner thigh. And then extend the right side of the body towards the back of the room. Everyone breathe. Breathe into that right side of the rib cage. Nice, one last breath. Exhale, back to your warrior two. Lower the front heel. Inhale, extend the front leg. Right hand reaches forward, as far forward as you can. Exhale, Uttita Chirpanasana. Open the torso up. So squeezing the bum forward and rotate the left hip bone out so ever so slightly. You're gonna feel the nice extension and opening in the hips in this pose. Maybe you can stay here. Maybe you can take it half bind, left arm behind your back. Or maybe you can bend the leg and take a full bind. If you're in a full bind, see if you can reach for the left wrist with your right hand and then extend the leg one more time. Open, 
a rotator torso up. Okay, your left shoulder. Inhaling three. Exhaling three. Inhaling two. Exhaling two. One last breath. So back to your Rutita Shrikonasana. And then pull the belly in, come back up, warrior two. Beautiful, nice and controlled. Take a deep breath. Exhale, hands to the ground, step back. High to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feet together, left leg goes up, inhale. When you exhale, press the right heel downward. Squeeze the left glute to bring the left leg higher. One last breath. Exhale, left knee to the right shoulder and twist, lean forward. Then extend the left leg through the right shoulder, press the right heel on the floor, right arm up. You can stay here. You can lift the left leg off the ground or you can take hold of the outside of the left foot with your right hand and coming into your side plank split. Hold it three. Hold it two. And back to three leg dog. Slowly, left leg goes up, inhale. Exhale, bend the top leg over the hip. Stack your hips on top of each other. Flex the foot, rotate the ankle. You can stay here, flip back. One thing, lift the bum. Open the heart, let go of the head. Hold it three. Hold it two. And then both hands to the ground. Left leg goes up, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot forward and move into your warrior one. Ground through both feet. When you exhale, open warrior two. Drag the shoulders down. Now everyone, the back leg is active, but you still want to bend the front leg. Then lift the front heel up. Flip the front palm up, inhale, forward. Exhale, reverse warrior. Reach with your right hand to the left inner thigh. And maybe the left arm extends back more. Breathe into the left side of the rib cage. Look up. One last breath. Exhale, back to your warrior two, lower the heel. Inhale, extend the front leg. Left hand reaches forward. Exhale, Tita Trikonasana. Open and rotate the torso up. Everyone, feel your body strengthening those warriors. If the pose becomes challenging, come back to the breath. Option one, you can stay here or you can wrap behind your back half the vine. Option two, you slightly bend the leg. Maybe take hold of your right hand or right wrist and then extend the leg. Keep rotating the torso up. Look over your right shoulder. Inhaling three. Exhaling three, keep both legs strong. Inhaling two. Exhaling two. One last breath. Exhale slowly, left hand to the outside of the left foot. Circle the right arm down, come back to Uttita Tripanasana. Up to warrior two, look at your left middle finger. Deep breath. Exhale, both ends of the ground, step back. High to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now we go deeper now. <laughs> so remember to take the option words for you. Feet together. Inhale, right leg goes up as high as you can. When you exhale, right knee to the left shoulder. Twist the torso. Slowly move it to the right shoulder. In and up. Again, exhale, knee to the left. Move it to the right. In and up. Last one. Exhale. Knee to the left. Move it to the right. In and up. Hold it up. Bend the top leg. Open the hip. Option one. You can stay, stay here. Flip back. Second time. One thing. Maybe your chest open more. One last breath. Exhale. Hands to the ground. Inhale. Right leg goes up. Exhale. Knee to close. Step your foot in between your hands, stay here. Lower the back knee down, point the back foot. If you need to double fold the mat for your knees, go ahead. 
ground through the, the front foot and then reach up, Anjanyasana, low lunge. When you exhale, interlace the fingertips behind the back of the head, open the chest, up and back. Now press your back foot into the floor more and allow the hips to come lower. Nice, everyone, drop the shoulders down, pull the belly in, reach deep into those hips. Inhaling three, exhaling three. Inhaling two, exhaling two. One last breath. Exhale, hands to the ground. Undo the fold of the left knee. Grab your block, make sure the block is close to you. Tuck the back toes down, the lift the back knee off. Allow the hips to come low and prepare for your high lunge. Extend the arms in front of you and squeeze the side of the block with both ends. Now when you inhale, Lower the back knee without lunging forward, arms up, squeeze the block, open the shoulders. Exhale, extend the back leg, lower the arms. Squeeze the block, keep the spine upright. Inhale, bend the back leg. Exhale, lower the arms, extend the leg. Inhale to bend the back leg. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, squeeze into the block. When you exhale, lower the arms, right hand with the block, press to the outside of the right foot. Now lower the left heel down, bend the front leg, circle the left arm down over the head. Squeeze the bum forward for your extended side angle. You can stay here. Option two, take a half bind. Option three, full bind. If you're in a full bind this time, <laughs> without falling, or maybe even falling that's fine, you're going to step the left foot forward, transfer the body weight on the left foot and see if you can take it. It's a bird of paradise. Find your balance. One last breath. And slowly, as you come in, you come out. Back to your warrior two. <sighs> Extend both legs. Turn the right foot in towards the left. I know, I'm so sweaty already. So big toes looking in towards each other. Interlace the fingertips behind you. Inhale, open the chest up. When you exhale, ground through both feet. Transfer the body weight to the front of the feet and then fold the chest through the thighs. Let go of the head. Ah, everyone, nice. Let the arm drop heavy over the head. Relax the neck. Let the shoulder open. Maybe the arms go higher. Maybe you can squeeze the palm of the hands together. Deepen the breath. And then exhale, release the arms. Grab the back of the ankles and use your arm strength to bring your chest to the thighs even more. Nice. One last breath. Exhale, press both hands down. Lift the chest up. Halfway lift. Now, doesn't matter it looks like, doesn't matter whether we make it or not. What we want to do is to keep the feet grounded, so each edges of the foot are pressing into the floor, and we're gonna slide the legs out until we find a point that you feel a deep stretch into the inner thighs. You don't have to go too low. Just reach a point where you feel like something is happening in the inner thighs. And breathe. And maybe you can go lower. <laughs> nice. Now, what happens if you flex the feet and your toes point up? Your arms are holding your body weight. <laughs> and then we bring the, we, uh, we bring the bum to the floor. If you need to come off and come back down, that's fine too. Don't get frustrated. <laughs> Take a moment, hands to the heart. <laughs> Deep breath. 
When you exhale, fold the spine down. You can maybe just press the fingertips. You can even rest your head on a block. Or you can fold all the way down, depending how far we need to go today. And every day is different. So listen to your body. Oh, nice. Keep your feet flexed. Because the more you flex the feet, the more you protect the knees and you allow your inner thighs and calf to lengthen. So you actually, by flexing the feet, you should be able to open up more into the inner thighs. And guys, don't get frustrated if your lower back perhaps is up here and you feel quite tight. When I started a long time ago, I used to suffer very badly of lower back pain and sciatica. And for me, this was very hard. I wasn't born flexible at all. So it takes a bit of work, it takes a bit of time, but you're gonna get there. Just a few more breaths, and allow the chest to come lower. Nice, everyone, one last breath. And now, press your fingertips into the ground, lift the chest up. What I want you to do, take away the block for a moment, you're gonna look towards your right leg, see if you can bend the right leg and you move to pigeon from here. So the right shin is as parallel to the front of the mat as it can be. I know that this pose does not work for all of us, so if you have to sit on a block, place it under your right palm, you can. Otherwise, the modification for this pose is going into all fours, uh, figure four on the floor. So feel free to take this variation if you need. So you choose, yeah? And allow your head to rest. With each exhalation, if you're in pigeon, see if you can turn the left hip bone down towards the floor and in towards the right hip more. And allow the hips to come lower. Opening into the glutes. One last breath. Okay, so press your hands down, lift the chest up. Now to come out of this pose, we're going to tuck the toes under, lift the back knee, pull the navel in, see if you can bring your right knee towards your chest, and then find your high lunge again. Allow the hips to come low. Now from high lunge, Step your back foot closer, turn now the back foot and extend the front leg. Inhale to lengthen the spine forward. Exhale, fold down, we took it out. Let the head drop heavy. Then hands on the hips, inhale, half we lift. Extend the left arm forward. When you exhale, left hand reaches to the outside of the right foot, or you can use a block under the right, under the left hand. Lengthen the spine forward when you inhale. When you exhale, rotate the torso up. And maybe you can extend the rise arm up too. Breathe into the waistline. Twist and rotate the torso up. One last breath. Exhale, both hands to the ground. Take the block away. Transfer the body weight forward and see if you can show the left leg up for standing split. Fold the spine down, look at your belly button. Hold it three. Hold it two. And when you're ready from here, look up, half with it. You can step back, otherwise bend the right leg, jump back, chaturanga, high to low plank, squeeze the elbows in. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Relax the back of the head. Other side and then we move to the floor. Feet together. Left leg goes up when you inhale. When you exhale, left knee to the right shoulder. Move it to the left shoulder. Inhale up. Again, exhale, knee to the right. Move it to the left. Inhale up. Last one, exhale, knee to the right. 
move to the left. Lean it up, hold it up. Bend the top leg, open the hip. Stack your hips on top of each other. Again, feel free to flip back. One thing the second time around. And see if your body can open even more this time. One last breath. Exhale, both ends to the floor. Left leg goes up, inhale. Exhale, knee toes. Step your foot forward. Lower the back knee down. Double fold the mat if you need to under the knee. Point the back foot and press it into the floor. Inhale, low lunge. When you exhale, interlace the fingertips behind the back of your head. Open the chest up and back. Press your back foot into the floor. Allow the hips to drop heavier. Beautiful, everyone. Breathe. Open the chest up and back. One last breath. Exhale, hands to the ground. Undo the foot down the knee, tuck the back toes under. Make sure you have your block in front of you. Lift the back knee and come up into high lunge using the block. Extend the arms. Now when you inhale, squeeze into the side of the block, bend the back knee, arms up. When you exhale, extend the back leg, arms down. Inhale, tiny bend in the back leg, squeeze the block, exhale, lower. More you squeeze the side of the block, more you're gonna open up the shoulder joint, and then lower. You've got three more. Exhale, lower, extend the back leg. Two more, inhale, exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, hold. Exhale, left hand, press into the block to the outside of the left foot, to the inside of the left foot. Turn now the right, the right heel off the ground, and then circle the, left, uh, the right arm down and over the head, coming in short extended side angle. Open and rotate the torso up. <sighs> Option one, stay here. Option two, half by. Option three, full bind. If you are in a full bind and you're ready to take Bird of Paradise, you're gonna step the right foot forward, transfer the body weight on the right, and then shoot the left leg up. Open the chest, roll over with the spine. Hold it three. Hold it two. And back slowly as we come in, we go out, back to warrior two. Extend both legs, parallel your feet. Big toes looking in towards each other, I'm so sliding. This time hold each elbow behind your back. Inhale, puff the chest up. Exhale, move your chest through the, through the thighs. And let go of the hip. Nice, everyone. Deepen the breath. You find a peaceful state in every pose with our breath, with our presence, our energy. And when you exhale, release your arms. So when you release the arms, I'm going to give you two options now. Option one, grab the back of the ankles or shins and use the arms to puff the chest through the thighs like we did before. Option two, walk your arms under the thighs, depending on your tripod that step. So the fingertips are pointing towards your head, bring the crown of the head down, 90 degree angle with both arms and then see if you can lift the legs. Keeping the legs strong. Breathe, everyone, especially if you're in your headstand. Breathe. One last breath. From headstand, slowly come back down. Slowly inhale, lift the chest up, way up. Look up for a moment because I don't want you to go dizzy. And then, just like we did before, we're gonna slide the legs out. Maybe this time we're gonna go a bit deeper. 
Then flex the feet, toes pointing up and allow the bum to come all the way down. If you need to just, if you need to just sit and organize it, so to fight. <laughs> Especially the second time around. And then fold the spine, well done everyone. Let the head drop heavy. This time, see if you can point and flex the feet, rotate the ankle, spread the toes. Beautiful. Stay where you are, one last breath. And then from where you are, when you exhale, so you look at your left thigh, frame the left thigh, Bend the left leg and find your pigeon. Remember that figure four, if you need to modify, you can also sit on the block and then allow the spine down as deep as you can. Breathe, everyone, opening into the glutes. This stretch can feel very hard to hold. As I looked again of acupressure points in the hips, in the groin that connects to strong emotions um, but also physically when we stretch into the glutes we are able to open up all the way into the lower back so if you suffer a bit of tightness in the lower back this may not feel easy but it's very very good for you breathe and allow the hips to come closer to the ground And then you already press your hands down, lift the chest up. From this pose, tuck the back toes down, lift the back knee, pull the belly in, the left knee in towards your chest, and then step your foot in between your hands. Allow the hips to come low, take a deep breath. And then when you exhale, step your back foot closer, turn around the back foot, extend the front leg, find your pyramid pose. Make sure the block is close to you. Then hands on the hips, inhale, lengthen the spine halfway, extend the right arm out. When you exhale with the right hand, take hold of the block, place it across the outside of the left thigh, and then open and rotate the chest up. Look at your left fingertips. Rotate from the stomach, both arms are acting. One last breath. And then you bring both hands to the ground. Transfer the body weight forward, pull the belly in, shoot the right leg up, preparing for standing split. Look at the belly button length in the back of the neck. Stay here. Hold it three. Hold the two. To come out, bend the left leg in up. You can either just step back, otherwise float back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down with face dog. Relax the back of the head. Everyone, notice that downward dog I feel towards the end of the practice. Look, shake your head. Then lift the heels, bend the legs, step the foot to the top of the mat, feet cross legs. Bend the legs. Hug your knees in towards you. And then see if you can find balance on the seat bones. Lengthen the spine up, passing the chest forward. Arms by your side, come up the hands facing up, tabletop. Option one, stay here. Inch your Navasana, both poles. Option two, peace finger. Take hold of the big toe, extend the legs. Use your arms to puff your chest forward towards the toes. And breathe. One last breath. And then release. Bend the legs, hands behind you. 
fingertips pointing forward, lift the bum up, let go of the head. One last breath. Exhale, lower your bum and then lay the spine down. Oops, arc your knees in towards your chest. Rock side to side. Massage your lower back for a moment. Now we can take a happy baby pose. Open the thighs. Now you can take an extension with the legs. But keep your lower back and shoulders grounded. Then close the thighs. Drop both legs to the left side of the room. Extend the right arm. Look at your right hand for a gentle spine twist before we go into our back bends. You can stay here, wrap your right leg over the left leg and across to go deeper. Remember to breathe into the side of the body. One last breath. And when you exhale, slowly back to center. Other side, both legs to the right. Extend the left arm, look at your left hand, spinal twist. You can also wrap your top leg over the right leg and across to go deeper into that twist. Breathe into the stomach, into the lower back. And then when you're ready, slowly come back to center. Okay guys, so if you have your block, wrap the block. I'm gonna give you different options because I know this is now the end of the practice and we have been working very hard. So you can either decide to take it more restoratively now or you can push yourself a bit more. So your feet are hip distance apart. Press the feet into the ground, arms by your side. Your fingertips want to almost touch the heels of the feet. So that's the distance you want to start with. And then drag the shoulders down away from the ears, press the feet into the floor, lift the bum up. If you have the block, you can place the block under the sacrum, which is at the base of the spine, and feel free to stay here. This is a bit more restorative. If you want to go deeper, ground through the feet, take the block away, hands close to the ears. When you inhale, lift on top of the crown of the head, when you exhale, lift all the way up into wheel. Then you can walk your feet towards your hands more. Puff the chest up, shoulders down. Hold it. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, reach higher. Relax the back of the neck. Inhaling two. Exhaling two. One last breath. Exhale, chin to chest, shoulders, the rest of the body down. Hug your knees to your chest, rock side to side. We're gonna come back there again. So lower the feet, lift the bum up. And again, feel free to just place the block the second time around so you find the restorative pose. Ooh, otherwise, this time we're gonna go next again into wheel, but because it's our second time around, the body should feel more open, yeah? So we may go deeper. So take it gently. Bring the hands close to the ears. When you inhale, lift on top of the crown of the head. When you exhale, reach all the way up. When you inhale now, option, bend the arms, crown of the head down, elbows pointing in towards each other ever so slightly. Exhale up, inhale to bend, exhale up, inhale, bend, exhale up, we go three, exhale, we go two, exhale, last one, exhale, hold it up, walk your feet closer, and then chin to chest, shoulders, all the way down, well done everyone. Hug yourself, give yourself a big hug. Rock side to side. 
Yeah, such a high from Will pose. It's so beautiful. It's my favorite pose, maybe. Even though I struggle a lot in it. <laughs> so take a moment here. You can either, again, take it more restoratively. You can keep your lower back on the floor, arms by your side, legs up, and rest your legs against the wall so you have some support. Otherwise, we prepare for shoulder step. Drag the shoulders down. So lift the bum up, support the lower back, and then shoot the legs up. When you come up, walk the elbows closer to each other. Make sure you don't move the neck. Close your eyes. Focus on the spacing between the eyebrows, the third eye center, keeping the legs strong. Breathe, anyone. Inhaling three. Exhaling three. Inhaling two. Exhaling two. One, last breath. Exhale, lower the knees down to the side of your ears. Extend the legs to the back of the room. Or release the arms if your toes touch the ground. Whatever works for you. You can even interlace the fingertips behind your back. Breathe, everyone. One last breath. And when you exhale, release the arms by your side. Point the feet, pull the belly in slowly. Vertebra per vertebra. The spine comes down slowly, gently. And then legs up to the sky, lower back on the floor. Keep pressing the fingertips into the floor. And slowly, gently, we lower the legs. Slow, peacefully. And then relax. <sighs> Everyone, from where you are, you're gonna hug the knees in, grab the back of the thighs, rock yourself forward and backward, massaging the spine of the floor, exhale, reach all the way up. If you don't have a block, if you just lay down. If you have a block, place the block across the shoulder blades in a straight line. Remember, it's not below the neck, it's not just below the shoulder, it's right across the shoulder blades. And then we lay on it. Open the chest, relax the leg. You will feel the shoulders dropping heavy and the chest popping forward. This is such a lovely stretch for the upper back. If it's too much, feel free to just lay down for now. Close your eyes. Allow the body to rest. Allow your upper back to melt around the block. should be able to breathe deeper as your um, chest is gently pushed forward and you have more space to extend the lungs so you can bring more oxygen in and again this is another pose with a block that you can do when you wake up or before going to bed just to give yourself a little release in the upper back One last breath. And when you exhale, so let the body drop to one side of the mat. Take the block away. Give yourself a very big hug. So squeeze every muscle group of the body. Squeeze everything in. And when you exhale, just find your final pose, your Shavasana. And allow the body to rest. Well done,
Continue to breathe. Continue to relax. Shavasana is the most important of uh, the pose. Because first it allows us to let the practice, the energetical practice, sink into the body. That also reminds us how important is stillness. Be still. To learn to self soothe again. Eyes closed, but heavy. Allow each exhalation to bring you into a deeper state of relaxation. Taking a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> Start to bring little movements back to your toes, and your fingertips. 
breathing, you can extend the arms over the head, extend the legs, and when you're ready, hug your knees in towards your chest. How much? Up both legs to either side of the mat, any side you prefer. You use your hands to help you come up to any seated position you like. When you come to seated, feel comfortable with the hips and then rest your stronger hand into the weakest hip. Let the thumbs touch. Rest your hands near the pelvis. Close your eyes. Notice your breath now. Come back to the intention, to the reasons why I decided to practice today. Why did you need this practice today? And when you're ready, we seal our practice with three big sayang together. When you're ready, inhale, bring the arms up and over the head, take a deep breath, lengthen the spine up, look up. When you exhale, hands to the belly and sigh it out. <sighs> inhale, arms up and over. And let all the tension out. <sighs> Last one, even deeper breath in through the nose, reaching up. And let it out. <sighs> and thank you all for joining me today. Namaste.